there from Reed, just swinging out on a couple of backhands. And it's Love 15. Reed is probably the least experienced of the four players on court. Of course, Andy Ram here, now 33 years old, was as ranked as high as fifth in the world back in 08. Not exactly the greatest form from Matt Reed as it hits the back fence, trying to go right through Andy Ram. 15 all. Ram now 124th in the world in doubles, was injured, unable to play for about six months. Oh. Missed volley there from Ram. Now it is 30-15. Obviously, Jonathan Ehrlich serving here at 36 from Tel Aviv. Ram served first yesterday. I got a little bit confused as they've changed their rotation. It's also hard for me to see when I can't see their faces here from behind. It's there from Matt Reed on the return, and now Chance here for Jonathan Ehrlich, who is, as we mentioned, 36 Tel Aviv. He's at 69th in the world in doubles. He has continued playing despite not having his partner for quite some time. Should finish there from Ram. 40-30 now as Ehrlich and Ram have their first game point. is that volley. Deciding point now. See who takes this. It's been Reed throughout the week. And that's exactly who will be here. Matt Reed, just a little bit more intense with his returns. Chris Cuccioni about as relaxed as, as they get. Jonathan Ehrlich facing the break point here. there from Ram, and it's 15 love. Cuccioni, now 28 years old, splitting his time between Melbourne and New York City. I know his wife and daughter have been with him here on the road in Aptos. Get a miss there from Ram, and it's 30 love, but about 20 feet to the right of our courts is actually a little playground. So Cuccioni's wife and daughter were spending most of their time there yesterday. In fact, I see them again today over in the playground. It's as the man they call Gooch attempts to get another easy hold. Forty Love, his wife, just kind of takes a look over every once in a while just to make sure everything's going all right. It's going all right so far, 40 love. Oh. Easy finish there for Matt Reed. And an easy hold. It's one game all here in our first set. With the doubles final here at the Comerica Bank Challenger, the Seascape Sports Club, Ehrlich and Ram. Had a moment with them briefly in between our single and doubles final. We had an opera singer come out and perform something to honor one of the local volunteers. And Jonathan Ehrlich sang to me in all of his finals throughout about 15 years on tour. He'd never seen anything quite like that. Andy Ram now serving. As we mentioned, he's been the player who's been out for 
about six months, they've only played, I think, four tournaments now together, Ram and Ehrlich, because of the injury to Andy. I should say four tournaments in 13. Matt Reed saying there is no way that that one caught the line. Reed asking for some help from some of our fans behind him, but it is an ace for Andy Ram. 30 love. That was a really nice return there from Guccione. Unfortunately, wasted there as Reed just can't put that volley back into play. 40 love now. into the alley. That was pretty much his only play there on that extremely low volley. 40-15, still a couple of game points here for Ehrlich and Ram. Guccione <laughs> missing that forehand return up the line just by a couple of inches. A hold for Ehrlich and Ram. They have a 2-1 lead here early in our first set. We'll take a break. You're watching the USTA Pro Circuit. No one knows what it takes to win, like you do. That's why Nordic Naturals fish oils are made to meet your body's most demanding nutritional needs. With 1,200 milligrams of essential omega-3s plus added vitamin D, Ultimate Omega D3 delivers high-intensity support for healthy brain, heart, bones, muscles, and joints. For performance when it counts, trust Nordic Naturals. Available at natural food stores. The Israeli flag prominently displayed here to support Ehrlich and Ram as they go for their second straight championship here on the USTA Pro Circuit. It's Matt Reed about to serve. Reed is by far the youngest of the four players on court at just 23 years old from Galston, New South Wales, Australia. Also by far the lowest ranked of all four. Easy put away there for Guccione. 30 love. Reed now at 143 in the world in doubles. That's a career high. He's continued to move up with the help of his partnership with Chris Guccione. I've done well this year, winning a challenger in Lyon final in Kyoto, a couple of semifinals as well, and obviously now another final here in Aptos, 40 love. Wonderful return there from Andy Ram. I think Ehrlich and Ram both thought that that serve was just a tad bit long, but they'll take that point. 40-15 now. Ram realized that Matt Reed had one place to go with that volley. He was waiting. 40-30 now. And obviously, this is where that no-add scoring really comes into play because now you've obviously just got one point until there's a break chance here for Ehrlich and Ram. Oh. So it's so important to make a first serve right there, 40-30. Don't want to get to that deuce point. Ah. And Ehrlich was poaching all the way there. Got a great return from his partner, Andy Ram, and now it is that break chance here at Deuce. It'll be Ram to return. That one misses by a couple feet. And a tough hold for Matt Reed. Two all. Reed and Guccione yesterday. Had one of those crazy matches with Pemmelmans and Nielsen. 
just changing back and forth. Both teams broken quite often. Haven't seen breaks of serve on Ehrlich, against Ehrlich and Ram very much at all throughout this entire week, or quite frankly, last week for that matter. Straight set winners yesterday over Ito and Moria in their semifinal matchup. Oh. Guccione goes a little bit long. Just so interesting to watch Guccione play. He just always looks very relaxed and doesn't look like he's making a huge effort. Obviously, he is. It's just his demeanor is so calm throughout, and it's just so unusual to watch. 15 love now. dunks that one into the net there. And now it's 15 all. As we mentioned, these two 16 titles on the ATP Tour together. I apologize, I keep mixing the two of them up. It's Jonathan Ehrlich obviously serving, and I've just got their rotation just off here today. And my apologies for that, it was Ehrlich missing on that volley. As long as they've got their rotation set, I think that's the more important thing, isn't it? 30 15. Reed taking it. Wild cut at that forehand and misses long. Again, almost hitting the fence there. 40 15 for Jonathan Ehrlich. It's a beautiful slice serve out wide, only because of the injury to Andy Ram last year in 2012. Chris Guccione has been playing in all of the Grand Slams as well the last couple of years in doubles. Seen his singles ranking drop down to about 423 in the world. He was ranked as high as 67 back in 2008. hard for a guy who is such a terrific servant volleyer having to deal with all of the advances in technology in tennis and now people who just weren't great returners can smack the ball back so quickly and with such efficiency and accuracy that it's hard for a servant volleyer like Guccione to really have that same level of success in the last five years. 40 love now for Guccione looking for three all. against the fence, 40-15 though. Still a couple of game points for the Australians, but terrific work there from Andy Ram on the ad side. That serve right into Jonathan Ehrlich. Right into the belly button there. And now it's three all. a great Davis Cup type of a match here. I know that all four players have been members of their Davis Cup team at times. Guccione has been a double star for the Australians and was back in 08, I think number two in Australia, right behind, of course, Leighton Hewitt. In fact, the two of them just teamed up a couple weeks ago in Atlanta, the ATP event up there.
Ehrlich realizing he could have let that one sail well long. It's love 15. But yeah, Hewitt and Guccione reached the semifinals in Atlanta. That was a good run for the two of them. Leighton Hewitt kind of in the twilight of his career, but still such an incredible battler. able to get that forehand right back up the middle. He was trying to split the difference, but Ehrlich and Ram do such a great job of covering that middle and really forcing you to go for the tougher shot, which is, of course, into those doubles alleys from the middle. That's a very difficult shot. It's just very standard doubles formations, doubles strategy. 30-15 there as that serve takes Guccione out wide. 30-15 now. That's about as good as it gets from Andy Ram taking it deep. pair of challengers this year, along with that one he won in Mexico with Chris Guccione. Also picked up a challenger title in Adelaide right at the beginning of the year to start 2013 in such a great way. He's had a career high in singles as well this year, breaking into the top 200 for the first time. He misses that volley down the line. Jonathan Ehrlich doing well there to kind of fake that he was going to poach, or, uh, force Matt Reed into a difficult spot. Oh. Ehrlich just missing that return, 15-30. Obviously, any time that Chris Guccione is up at the net, you really have to focus on where exactly your returns are going. He's got such a long and extensive wingspan. Somehow, Andy Ram able to get him, get that lob past the six foot seven Guccione, forcing Matt Reed to try and get those balls back in play and Ram just right on top of the net. 15-40, three break chances here for Ehrlich and Ram looking for a 5-3 edge. There's a terrific return, Jonathan Ehrlich. Andy Ram have a 5-3 lead here in our first set. Again, had an easy time with it. And these two faced in the first round last week in Vancouver. Obviously, bigger stakes here in the finals in Aptos. But so far, same result for Ehrlich and Ram. They've got their break. Now just trying to serve it out is Jonathan Ehrlich. Fifteen love. When they get their break, they move incredibly quickly. And just try to finish. Textbook stuff, you just step and punch. Good angle, 30 love. We're looking Ram two points away from our first set. That time, Erlich trying to do a little too much with that one and just misses out wide. Just trying to keep an eye and read where Guccione was coming if he was rushing up to the net. He was not. 30-15. A 
again, easy put away there for Andy Ram as Matt Reed just kind of puts that ball floating right in the middle. That's about as easy as it gets for Ram, and now 40-15, three set points for Ehrlich and Ram. Gioni's return hits the back fence, and it's Ehrlich and Ram with a 6-3 first set. They are one set away from their second straight title on the USTA Pro Circuit. We'll take a break. You're watching the USTA Pro Circuit. Double fault there from Guccione. First of the day, first of the match, actually, from any of these four players. It's love 15. <laughs> that return misses wide from Andy Ram, and it's 15 all. Guccione, we mentioned also spending a little bit of time away from Matt Reed. Reached the second round at Wimbledon. Oh! Obviously, with the ranking right around 100, needs to get a partner with a higher ranking to get into the main draw there. Oh! And Reed just almost praying that that one went long. It did. 30-15. Yet, reaching the second round at Wimbledon, and I believe he played as well. And Australia this year, did Guccione. It's a great way to extend your career if you're not having that huge single success. 40-15. Also one of the few players is Guccione who goes old school with that collared shirt look at all times. I have a lot of respect for players who still rock that collared shirt. Guccione really is a throwback with that huge serve and volley game. And it's tough to return. It's Jonathan Ehrlich now serving, love one. Love, as that lob goes just a little bit long from Guccione. <coughs> Look and Ram at this point in their careers, 15 years in, just know exactly what they're doing pretty much from point to point and not much discussion. It's just a matter of calling out the next signals and moving on to the next point. Once again, Matt Reed having that opportunity after a overhead kind of pops up, but just again sending it deep and into the fence. 30 love. just to get to that one, but a really strong finish there from Matt Reed going again right at the feet of Ehrlich and Ram, now 30-15. Jonathan Ehrlich also reaching the semifinals in Atlanta. I believe that was just the first tournament Ehrlich and Ram had played again together in Atlanta this year after that long extended break. Possibly their second tournament together. But a semifinal Atlanta win last week, of course, in Vancouver. Oh. 
Oh, Matt Reed had a chance there to tattoo Andy Ram, but just misses it, smacks it into the net instead. And now it's one game all here in our second set. Matt Reed was the one who was broken in the first in our eighth game of that first set. And so obviously he's got that in the back of his mind. We'll need some help from his partner, Chris Guccione. Needs Gooch to be pretty active. Another second serve coming here for Matt Reed, 23-year-old from Galston, New South Wales. Junior doubles finalist at Wimbledon back in 2008. But there it's Ehrlich just finding a soft middle in between Guccione and Reed. It's love 15. And obviously when you have a service game like Reed did in his last attempt at holding, you just start to have some flashbacks there and think, Boy, I've got to come up with some bigger shots, some bigger serves. There's one. First ace of the day for Matt Reed, and it's 15 all. Reed also struggled holding in that matchup yesterday with Bemelmans and Nielsen. There it's Andy Ram just missing on that poach. And he said, I should have done it that way. I needed to punch and get my left foot out in front of me. Missed it the first time, though. 30-15. Oh! Turn from Andy Ram sails long. 40 15 now. Three game points for Guccione and Matt Reed. that first serve. Some money involved as well. Oh! Should really ask for some of those peaches. They were delicious. Don't see Andy Ramp going down into the alley too often, but there saw that it was available to him. Doesn't go for too extreme of a target either. And it's 15 love. That one's sitting up for Chris Guccione. Matt Reed looked like he was taking out some frustration there. Those four hands just taking some big cuts, and it's 15 all. It's a wonderful serve right up the tee. Guccione catching that one behind him just a little bit. 30-15. Or look at Ram, don't have that 130 mile per hour serve that maybe Guccione and Reed do, but their precision and depth in their serves is really what's gotten them through about 15 years. You see there, they just go with a little bit of a topspin kick serve out to the Reed backhand, and two points later, they put it away, and it's pretty simple. 40 15 now, a couple of game points for Ehrlich and Ram. Misses on that forehand side, uh, forehand side again. It's two all in our second set. Really don't see this many forehand errors from Matt Reed. It's a bit unusual for him, but Ehrlich and Ram happy to be the recipients of it. You can see 
Andy Ram there trying to give himself a little bit of energy. Chris Guccione actually there just a second ago changed rackets. So I'm not sure if he's adjusting a little bit for the tension here, trying to get some more power on his serve. Ehrlich trying to go right at Matt Reed there, and that was perfectly lined up, just catching the net. 15 love. Ah. Ram just a little bit off with his timing. 30 love. Guccione can do that with that big slice serve there. Slows down so much, and you could see how far out in front Ram was with that return. Oh. Easy finish for Matt Reed right at the feet of Andy Ram, and now it's 40 love. You gain points here to get to 3 2. I think Ehrlich shocked if that one caught the base. Jonathan Ehrlich serving here at 2-3, now 15 love. But you really think the fact that you don't have a consistent stringers from week to week, and that always certainly plays into it. You saw Guccione changing his tension on the last changeover. 30 love now. Again, they're going right into Matt Reed's body pretty much every time they're serving at him. 30 love. Simple put away again for Andy Ram there. 40 love now. Ehrlich and Ram have not faced a break point since our opening game of the match. Fantastic volley there, I thought, from Jonathan Ehrlich. Doesn't catch the outside of that line. But a big return from Matt Reed. Still 40-15, and a couple of game points from Ehrlich and Ram. Don't seem to be joking nearly as much as their opponents, Guccione and Reed. Very serious tandem here from Israel. Another game for Ehrlich and Ram. They continue to hold pretty much with ease. Again, just that one deuce point in that opening game. Since then, very easy holds. Three all now. This is where we had a break. It was actually a 4-3 in our first set, but this is that same moment with Matt Reed serving. I have to be honest, there's uh, there's no way that ball was on the line. That one I could definitely tell of, and I, I try not to judge our line judges, but that one I think was missed. 15 love. It's a big return there from Andy Ramey. Actually took a little bit of pace off. Instead, just tried to dip it down right at the feet of Matt Reed. And that accuracy there just a little bit more important. It's 15 all. They're missing with the forehand. 
Good volley there from Matt Reed again. Just some depth and right at the feet. Simple stuff. 30-15. And a simple return from Andy Ram. Almost no backswing on that. Almost like a little punch, almost like a volley, almost. Just a little bit of follow through and just takes it right into the alley. 30 all. Oh. Ehrlich just missing with that inside out backhand return there, 40-30. Game point here for Matt Reed. That's a wonderful serve right up the tee, Ian, but he saw the end of our match here yesterday, possibly joining us for the end of the doubles final. Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt Reed was actually unsure about whether there was a call there or not. Somebody from the crowd yelled out, oh, yeah. I think Reed initially thought, as did I, that it was somebody calling it long. It was not. It's Love 15. there for Jonathan Ehrlich. Very suddenly, it's love 30. Again, they haven't faced a great chance since that first game. Key moment now for Andy Ram as he serves here at love 30. Forehand just a little bit long there from Matt Reed. Now we're at 15-30. Oh! That serve didn't miss by much. Finish there from Andy Ram. It's 30 all. <laughs> 30 all now will be joined in just a second here by Bradley Klon. 40 30, Guccione wanting a call there. He's not going to get it. Game point now for Andy Ram, who's made this comeback here from Love 30. Just there from Guccione. He swings wildly on that forehand, just misses out wide again. Another hold from Ehrlich and Ram, and now we are <coughs> very happy to be joined by Bradley Klon. And, and Bradley, congratulations. Uh, I, I know you were thinking they're probably facing a match point late in the second. Oh my gosh, a third straight final and losing it. But just talk about that moment in particular and what you know caused you to come back here in that third set. Yeah, you know, I thought I started playing better and better as the match went on. And even in that second set when I was down the match point, um, and he came up with some good shots. There, um, to get to match point, and uh, you know he had an incredible pass. But uh, you know I was just sticking with the plan, and uh, I th thought I really stepped up my serving and with my forehand in the second in that tiebreaker, and then um, played a really good third set. Yeah, just talk about the return game uh, that you had. It looked like in the first set there was just nothing really happening for you. Just what was it that allowed you to come back and maybe find something on his returns? Yeah, you know, I really wasn't putting any returns in the court um, for the first two sets, really, even until the uh, the tiebreaker. But um, I thought it was, uh, you know, in the third set I started changing things up a little bit. 
and uh, started chipping a few more, just trying to get my way in the point. Because uh, I mean, we, he, I would go games without making returns in right. the first and second set, and you know that just put more pressure on my serving. And uh, as I started, I started getting into his service games. I think I had a break, two break points at 3-2 um, in the third, and uh, so I started getting a little bit more confidence. And then I played a really good game at 5-4, um, getting the returns in play, and then looking for my forehand, and came up with a real good pass at 30 all. And um, so I thought that was key, just changing it up a little bit on the returns and starting to just try to put a few, put a few more in. And, not give him so many easy looks. You obviously have a player in, in Daniel Evans there who was obviously aggressively attacking your backhand throughout. Yeah. How did you adjust to that, and what were you looking to do and trying to change that up a little bit? Yeah, um, you know, he really uses his slice well, and he, I knew he was going to be coming to my backhand and looking to come in. So um, I was trying to, get, you know, obviously trying to get forehands whenever I could, and uh, you know, I felt that. When I was dictating with my forehand, I was in control of all the points. So if I could get to my forehand, then I felt pretty confident. But I was just trying to find a way when he did come to my backhand to kind of get out of that. And um, I thought I started using my slice more effectively um, to his forehand and down the middle as the match went on and uh, was hitting that better. I didn't think I did that uh, well enough in the first set and a half. Well, you obviously have a great couple of weeks in store for you, obviously a little bit of time off uh, and then the U.S. Open. What is the biggest thing you're going to be working on here in the next couple of weeks, uh, obviously, aside from some rest yeah. and getting healthy? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is just showing up the returns and the backhand and being able to, you know, when the guys come to my backhand, being able to do a little bit more with it. And, uh, um, you know, I've, I thought I served and hit my forehand exceptionally well today and all week. And, uh, you know, keep working on that, but uh, keep working on the returns and putting pressure um, on guys that way. Because uh, the way I've been serving, if I can start putting a little bit of pressure on other guys' service games, then uh, that's going to help me out a lot. Okay, before we let you go, obviously, uh, this is your first Challenger Championship. Obviously, it's very close to home for you in terms of being at Stanford. Uh, what are you going to do to celebrate here in the next couple of days? I assume there's got to be something. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've talked to some friends from up here. I have a lot of friends that are still in the area from Stanford, and uh, I'm pretty much the only one who kind of moved out. <laughs> uh, everyone's still in San Francisco area. So uh, hoping I can see some of them tonight and um, – then just go home to San Diego for a couple of days and rest. But, uh, you know, it's back at it um, soon. You know, the U.S. Open's two weeks away. So, uh, you know, try to relax the mind for a couple of days. But, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, obviously I want to make a good run at the U.S. Open. Sure. So there's a, there's a lot I need to cover. All right, Bradley, uh, it's been a fantastic summer for you, and congratulations. I know all of us on the crew have been able to watch a lot of your matches, and uh, you really well earned this week. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Love now here as Ehrlich and Ram are serving at 4-5, and we certainly appreciate Bradley Klon joining us and being very gracious with his time the last several weeks. 40 Love now. Again, it's Ehrlich and Ram seeming to hold very simply here today. They also have to be thinking just a little bit about the fact that Matt Reed is going to be serving next. They've had more chances on Reed serve. Oh! Reed swings wildly on that return. It's five all. This is really a pretty big moment, I think, for Ehrlich and Ram. They really struggle against Chris Guccione, but Matt Reed, they've had a couple of chances against his serve, so maybe they try to be a little bit more aggressive here. 
counter to that, I think Guccione could be a little bit more active, maybe poach once or twice. You see how quickly Ehrlich was inside the box there after that return, really wanted to get on top of that net, but Reed did such a great job of keeping that volley nice and low and not allowing Ehrlich to finish. 15 love. That's an important serve for Matt Reed as well. As takes and he ran out wide. 30 love. And there's another fine serve for Matt Reed. He has really answered this challenge right here. 40 love, three game points. That one, however, obviously a second serve, and Ram able to take a little bit bigger cut on that backhand side. 40-15. So important. The first serves here in doubles, especially against a duo like Ehrlich and Ram, who will punish your mistakes. But there, you saw what that first serve was able to do. The second set, we will go to a match tiebreaker. too big of a forehand there. It's really not the place to take that one. But that's what Ehrlich and Ram can do to you is just a matter of they just keep getting balls back in play. You have to come up with a big shot, and that's what Matt Reed's thinking there. Love. I think Matt Reed actually looked over at Chris Guccione asking if he heard a let. I don't think he did. 30 love. It's a big serve. Andy Ram, I think the bigger of the two servers on the south side of our courts currently. able to finish. 40 love now. Four game points as Ehrlich and Ram try to send us into a tiebreaker here for this second set. It's a big first serve right again into the body of Matt Reed. And we will go to a tiebreaker here for the second set. Ehrlich and Ram, again, so close here to a championship, their second straight. Guccione and Reed looking for their second title of the year as well. One together in Mexico back in April. Andy Ram actually double hit that with his motion. Obviously it legal as it is just continuous motion, but a little bit of a break there from Andy Ram and he holds up his racket to apologize as it will be Jonathan Ehrlich here to serve first for Ehrlich and Ram. They get the first point on a mini break. What a forehand there from Chris Guccione. A windmill of a forehand there catches the doubles alley. And it's one all. Mini break goes right back. 
I don't think Andy Ram expected anything like that. Serve there from Ehrlich, 2-1. Doing a great job uh, on Guccione of just keeping those serves so low. Smart plays from Ehrlich and Ram. Two of the smartest guys out on tour. Matt Reed serves now. A nice finish there from Guccione, 2-all. Ehrlich just absolutely lined up and was just sure of the fact he was going to be able to take that one. Really barely even moved and was able to take a huge full swing on that backhand. They once again have a mini break here at 3-2. Just well timed there. Again, nice serve from Andy Ram. That serve up the tee is really deadly. 4-2. The two teams change sides. As a reminder, this is Ehrlich and Ram on a seven-match winning streak. Heading into this one, 1-9 one out of their last 10. And now just three points away here from another title, their second straight title, second title of the year. One more serve now for Ram. It's a really wonderful touch volley. And again, just kept it so low for Matt Reed to really not able to get a good flat shot there. Just tried to smack it back down the line. Couldn't do it. A couple serves now for Chris Guccione. It's exactly the guy you want to be serving here down 2-5. Ram almost able to put that return back in play. That one getting out to that backhand side and it was just close enough that he was able to again try that little punch return. Then another huge first serve for Guccione. Couldn't ask for much better on those two service points there from Gooch. 5-4 now. The championship is now on the racket of Jonathan Ehrlich. He has two points here. Could serve out this match. from Guccione and Reed. There they were the ones aggressively targeting the middle. And it's five all. The mini break is wiped out. Race to two here. From here on out here in this tiebreaker. This will decide, of course, who gets the first set point, possibly match point. It will be Ehrlich and Ram. It's 6-5 here in our tiebreaker. They have their first match point. On the serve of Matt Reed, the 23-year-old from Galston, New South Wales. Two-time titleist this year, but now down a match point. That return goes over our broadcast booth. Six all here in our tiebreaker crowd. Really enjoying the fight here from Guccione and Matt Reed. Again, just this race to two, so much fun. Deep into a tiebreaker. You can hear.
hear the Aussie chant here in the background. Cheering on these two Aussies, two Davis Cuppers from Galston and Melbourne. Although Guccione spending a lot of his time in the States now, but has been an Australian Davis Cup hero for so many years down south. Big serve there from Matt Reed. Ehrlich had a good look at it, but misses long and wide. Now it's a set point for Guccione and Reed with Andy Ram serving. Yeah. Wonderful return from Matt Reed. Here you see him filing into a seat as this match tiebreak begins. Return from Guccione just a little bit long. You don't see many players just get so giddy to watch a final like that after having just lost your own final, but that's the kind of guy that Daniel Evans is. First point of the match tie break goes to Ehrlich and Ram, 1-0. Guccione to serve first for his Australian partnership. there and just misses wide, one all. He will want that one back because that was just sitting there waiting for him. He actually hesitated just a half a second there before running over, and I think it cost him. there from Andy Ram, and you can see the reaction from Matt Reed after he sends that overhead back to our fence. Boy, that was, a, frankly, a pretty awful lob from Andy Ram, just sitting there for Matt Reed. But it's Ehrlich and Ram who have the first mini break. Now lead 2-1. Jonathan Ehrlich just placing that right into the belly of Chris Cuccioni. And that was a huge swing from Matt Reed, too. But great reactions, as always, from Ehrlich and Ram. Now 3-1 here, the match tiebreak. Return from Cuccioni just short, 4-1 now. Three straight points there for Ehrlich and Ram as they have control of this match tie break. overhead. Wow. Probably had the other one on his mind. And now it's two mini breaks for Ehrlich and Ram here at 5-1 in our match tie break. Still a lot of tennis left to be played here though. Of course we're playing up to 10 but boy that one for Matt Reed has to be a huge disappointment. He's got his friend Daniel Evans. You can see him there just in the corner of your picture peering over the edge, keeping a close eye on his good friend. I think Evans likes that one. An ace for Matt Reed gets it to 5-2. Boy, Daniel Evans doesn't look creepy at all there, does he? 
Now it's Ehrlich and Ram here. With Andy Ram, I believe, serving. Evans has had a big smile on his face, actually, throughout, even despite losing. I formation now for Jonathan Ehrlich. First time, I believe, they've used that throughout the entire match. Wow. Interesting time to go with it. That was a good leave by Jonathan Ehrlich. He had a choice of taking that with a backhand or allowing his partner to come in and hit that as essentially like an overhead. Instead, hit it with a punch forehand volley, if you will. And now it's 6-2. There's an ace for Andy Ram. His second ace, I believe, of this entire match. It came at a big time, 7-2. Guccione really needs these two points. Was able to come up big in that tiebreaker at the end of the second set. But that's too big of a return there from Andy Ram. And now it's 8-2. Erlich and Ram, two points away here from a title in Aptos. Again, just a wonderful return that time from Jonathan Ehrlich. 9-2 here in our match tie break. That means seven match points here for Jonathan Ehrlich and Andy Ram. Second straight week, Jonathan Ehrlich and Andy Rand have a title, this time at the Comerica Bank Challenger with a 6-3, 6-7, 10-2 victory over Chris Guccione and Matt Reed. They give a round of applause to the crowd. They've done this so many times before. They are once again our winners here in Aptos at the Seascape Sports Club.